All right, we are back in the daytime kitchen with Mary, and I'm finishing up my wonderful, sweet crepe cake. I love having and dessert first. Yes. What it, do you think? Don't it's you think so that's a great delicious. idea? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. on my last bite. But right now, we're going to do the savory part yeah. of crepes. And, and these so are so cute. Yeah, aren't they so great? Mm -hmm. So um, savory crepes are just, you make them exactly the same, yeah. except instead of doing a whole cup of milk, you do half water and half milk. Okay. And again, you can use skin milk. And then you don't put sugar in it. That okay. makes sense. Okay, okay. So, so here we are, we did it. We baked them the same way. And for this particular recipe, mm -hmm. we're gonna use two, um, two crepes. So if you're making 12 crepes, one ba a batch of the batter that I showed you earlier. Yeah, you can make um, six of them. You can make six of these. So Ooh, I, I got see real nervous I, to do math just now, uh, but I did, I did it. You did good. You did Thank great. You. So see how I've done this? I've mm -hmm. kind of layered them over like that. And this is a mixture that I made with, um, I sauteed um, fresh mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And this is actually frozen spinach. Okay. About, okay. Easy. And the, uh, easy. Let me yeah. say this. Uh, I, I have to say, Frozen spinach has so much flavor. I agree. And you're not losing so much of it in the water. And right. I seasoned it with granulated garlic, some dill weed, a speck of hot pepper. I just like a little bite in it sometimes. Yeah. And this is rosemary. So those are the, the herbs that I used in this. Okay. And I did it in some olive oil. And then you're going to put this in the center like this. Okay. For this particular recipe, you could actually fill one crepe up and, and use it for right. you know dinner, but this is a different thing. And then I'm going to fold it into like a cigar, okay, like so, and a spray. Mm -hmm. My spray is here. Okay, whoops. You spray the dish. Uh -huh. All right. We don't want it sticking. Yeah, we spray. don't want it sticking. And then if the camera can get in here. We put this. Wrap it around like this. Easy. Easy, like yes. that. It makes a little hole. Yeah. Indentation. The oven is at 350. Oh, no. oh my and you gosh. Bake hey, and that put was it there so like easy. that. Isn't that great? And yes. then a little salt and pepper on top. And then um, actually, I put towards the end of the baking, yeah. I put a little of these goat cheese crumbles on top. Oh, oh that's great. Nice. So, and then when you eat it, you, you, you would use it a fork and a knife. Look at this. Okay. So how long do we bake this? Um, it takes about 25 minutes. Kind of keep your eye on it. Yes. You want to make sure that the egg is cooked thoroughly. Okay. But um, could it, that is just so perfect. Look it at is. that. Is that yes. gorgeous? It and is gorgeous. And what you end up with, this could be a brunch dish. Of course, Anything. in testing, we've been yeah. eating this as, you know, um, dinner with a salad. Mm. What do you think? Isn't mm. that just Moms will amazing. be so impressed by this. It's Isn't delicious. This delicious? And that was not hard at if all. If you didn't have those little mm. cassolettes, you could put them in a casserole dish because okay. that would mm -hmm. hold them together all around like that. Mary, mm. thank you but so much. Fun? Contact Mary today online. Yeah, or it's email. on the website. It's going to be on your website. It is. We're going to share it's it. It's very hot. Be careful. All right. Did it, did it thank burn you, your? Mary. <laughs>